Graham, Gravity Assisted Pulse Motor Two Stage Oscillator Update. Uh, we have the uh, cement blocks hung. Uh, they're approximately three feet from the pivot point. That gives us approximately five feet up in the air to uh, hang the uh, second pendulum. So we'll have a, a longer lever arm, and uh, you know we'll be able to mount the electromagnet at this location. And uh, the surprising thing is, is how much force 50 pounds has. I made the frame so I could add another 50, but honestly, uh, I don't think it's going to need it because, I mean, if I try to, uh, you know, I, I can't even attempt to uh, to stop the uh, the shaft. It took down a couple of one-way bearings, and uh, we should have uh, more to report in a couple of days. As you can see, it's it's raining. Hey, all right. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching, enjoy the day, this is just to uh, document the, uh, my progress, uh, waiting for parts, the, um, what is it, uh, it's a delay on time, uh, 555, uh, timer and relay board, real inexpensive, uh, should be here about Thursday, so we'll be able to complete the, uh, the setup on the Melkiavik, uh, Oscillator. This is basically the same thing. It's just, uh, you know, vertical. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Da da da. But there's, uh, there's definitely uh, something to say for mechanical advantage and uh, gravity-assisted power. Even if you have to stand there manually and push the thing back and forth, it, it takes nothing. And uh, the amount of uh, torque you get at the shaft is, man. <laughs> well, you know, do the math. I guess. I've been trying to figure it out, but it's quite a bit. For me, it's just easier to uh, complete the device and uh, measure the uh, voltage and uh, current at the output. That'll give me the watts. So, anyways, uh, there you go. Uh, any suggestions, uh, by all means, let me know. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers.